Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lo if you're new here. I'm 23, I live on Oahu, and I'm so excited to see you today. This week is finals week, and I woke up at like 11. I went downstairs, I made my coffee, I did my chores, and now it's time to do whatever I want. I know that it's finals week, but I wanted to show you guys what my life looks like during finals week as a college dropout. Also, I'm still sick. Well, I'm not sick, I'm like getting over it, but my voice is like, you know what I mean? So today we're gonna be hanging out. We're gonna go to town, we're gonna shoot some content. I really wanna make some reels and, you know, get like a leg up on that. Cause I recently started making money for my reels and that's really cool. So I wanna put like more effort into them, but I need to fix this. So give me just a second. All right, it's a little while later. We've got our hair and our makeup and our outfit done. I still sound sick, but I promise I'm not sick anymore. I'm just getting over it. Josh got back from doing his only final of the day and we decided we're gonna go to the mall and shoot some content there. Also, there's an ant. Also, I just wanted to briefly touch on the subject of being a college dropout just really quickly because I already know there's some speculations going on. So just a few things, just really quickly. One, I have a college degree. I just dropped out of a different one. Two, you don't always need college and a degree to be happy and successful. Three, everybody has their own reasons for doing the things that they do. And as long as it makes sense to them, it's nobody else's business. Four, this is a no judgment zone, so if I see anybody talking shit in the comments, I may or may not block you, I may or may not start a fight with you, but just let's not do that. Let's just, let's just not do that. Let's go do whatever we want now, because we can, because we don't have finals to study for, we don't have schoolwork to do. Okay, this is the first location for the reel that we're gonna shoot. I'm gonna go stand over there, and then Josh is gonna film me, and it's gonna be awkward because we're in public but the only way to do it is to do it so let's do it 20 minutes later we did it and it was really awkward yeah, i don't know how well you guys can hear me but we're just sitting here at ala moana in front of nordstrom just chilling around this time is when i would be getting out of school um but i haven't been in school for the past year has it been a year? It's been about a year and a half. The last class that I have been in is like Bailey Sarian's dark history class, and that doesn't count. <laughs> so now I just spend my time working and making content, and I can't ask for anything better. Because honestly, the degree that I was working on legitimately made me want to die <laughs> in an unstable way. So this is better for me. in the car now. Guess what happened to me? Two very awkward situations I found myself in tonight. Right after I took the clip that you guys saw last, the one of me signing in the, I almost called it a cafeteria. What's it called? Food court. Food court. I was signing in the food court, right? And as soon as I turned the camera off, like five minutes after that, the guy next to me opens his like carbonated drink and sprays this whole side of me with his drink. And I was like, all I felt was just cold. It was so cold. The countertop was soaked with whatever it was he was drinking. And I was like, oh. So, and then like, it's my, my pants were soaked. I'm yeah. pretty sure they apologized. Like they he were. looked me in the face and said sorry, so. But also he didn't make any efforts to clean it. He just kind of just left it. I was cleaning his mess for him. I was like, I'm just gonna, <laughs> cause it was wet right next to me. I was like, I'm just gonna wipe this down. And then the wife came from his side and started cleaning it and I was just like this is this is cool this is great awesome and then after that we were buying these these are very popular candies I don't know if you can find them anywhere else I don't think it, yeah it's basically leaking candy with lemon peel mm -hmm. yeah I honestly I don't like these I don't eat these but 
We were buying these from a kiosk and the worker came up to me. He was restocking the shelves and I'm chilling and I'm just looking at like the candy on the shelves and I look up and he's like, and I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, huh? And then I just did this. I was like, ah, oh, shit. I walked around to the other side of the kiosk where Josh was standing and I was like, this is the worker. He said something to me. And then he had to be the middleman like he always is. And I felt bad because the, the guys seemed nice and that was just like awkward. It's always awkward. That, that's why I don't like going out that much without him. But that's my night. How's your night going? We're actually gonna drive through the strip now and I'll do like a cute little Christmassy montage and then I'll see you when I see you. <coughs> I was holding that in. <laughs> where my fam was when she came here to visit Ava and some guy that's not even from here called her a slut. He was like, so slutty. And then the wife was like, haha, yeah. Anyways. Good morning. If you can't tell, I just woke up. We're just gonna pretend that today is the day after what you last saw, even though it's not. Yesterday, I completely forgot that I had a vlog going because I woke up late and I worked, so you didn't miss much. Hi, we're gonna make my morning coffee. I think I slept on this side last night because my cartilage piercings hurt. Whatever, I don't know. Like, there's literally nothing I can do about that. I got a package and I wanna open it with you. I'm really excited for this. I love these candles so much. I cannot open this shit. excuse me. I'm spilling packing peanuts all over the floor. The cork is so small, this is the rim. And I have like, how am I supposed to take this off? I want to smell this candle. I can't get it. B F F R. Oh, oh. Are you serious? Look at the little cereal pieces. Are you kidding me? It smells just like the cereal. Exactly like it. Look at this. Who's the imposter? It's this one. But my point, I love it so much. I love it. These are the cereal candles, by the way. Cereal candles from Bray Lake Studios. Okay, back to making coffee. Also, I figured I might add that yes, I did just wake up and it is also noon. Hot gosh. Um, I'm also not gonna keep this vlog really long. I'm actually, I think I'm gonna end it now. I still have a lot to do for a different video and I wanted to take the time today to do that because I'll be busy for the next couple of days. So with that being said, if you stayed all up until this point, do me a favor and comment the, is there a cereal emoji? There's a blue bowl with a spoon in it as an emoji. So comment that, but that's it from me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.